Hi everybody, this is Karen. This is just a super quick video to explain what I meant when I said this morning in my Silhouette group that you could use a Dingbat font or a font that contains shapes in it to attach to a path. In Silhouette Studio, if you have a path, let's say that you created a path with the pencil, you could then attach text to that. So if I just use a regular text font uh, let's find a regular text font. <laughs> you can take this text because it's got this anchor point and you can attach it to the path. Now you would have welded it and whatever, but I'm just showing you that you can attach this text to a path and you can do that with any text. I've pulled it away. And now if I were to take a shape and draw a shape, and I select it, I don't have that anchor point. So I can never drag a shape to a path to make it attach. It won't work. It has to be text. Once you double click it, you've got this anchor point and you can drag it over to your path and attach it. In fact, this text, sorry, this shape is a path. A path is a graphic element. Okay, so I can double click this and I can grab my anchor point and I can attach it to this path or down over here. Whoops, it's always a little bit weird to get it exactly where you want it. There we go. Okay, so that's the one thing. You can use text to attach to a path. So now the point about the dingbat is if I come here and choose my dingbat font and I type some text, I'm just going to type random letters, S-T-U-V. When you've got the uh, font, you'll know what letters to press to get what. Now you see, because this is a font, I've got this anchor point and I can drag this down to my, to my path. Okay. So S T U V S T U V V was my heart. So I'm just going to type a whole bunch of hearts. So now I can have a whole bunch of hearts on a path or I can get rid of these things over here. You see that straight now because that's back, gone back to text. So let's say if I draw, a perfect circle holding down the shift key. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to delete this little circle. I'm going to drag this up a little bit. And now I'm going to type my text. And my V was the heart, remember? So I'll type my first V and I'm going to drag this down to my circle. And then I'm going to keep typing V's until I fill my circle. The spots with hearts. And you could take that a step further. You could create another circle. I'm going to bring that into the middle. It's a little bit too large for what I want. I'm going to say about there so that when I have this over here, they're overlapping. And then I'm going to take this to the side and I'm going to create an offset, but it's going to be an internal offset going to make it a bit larger than that. Whoops, not that large. And then I'm going to choose these two items and I'm going to create a compound path because that's what you need to do to be able to weld these pieces onto the, this ring. Okay, so now I'm bringing this to the middle. I'm going to take everything and I'm going to center this to my page so that everything is centered. And then I can take this Oops, I need to select everything and I can weld. And I get that. So use your imagination on the shapes that you could use for your circle here and have fun with that. Thanks so much for watching.